how to get a job or how to be employable a frequently asked question from lots of students in fact on my youtube channel if you if you search for some comments you will find this question for sure how to get a job and it is a valid question right in fact when i was doing my degree even i was not sure how to get a job luckily i got a job but then there are lots of people they are unfortunate that they don't they don't get job now even if there are people who get a job they, they feel you know they are they don't belong to their what they are doing they want to do something else so in this video i will try to answer all those questions how to get a job how to be employable and uh, what you can do so that you will get a job okay so that the, the journey or the path now uh, you know when i go when, as a corp, so i am a corporate owner right so when i go to different companies for training i can see people i mean i can see companies who who hire people you know every company they have a different strategy to hire people in fact i have been to different companies for training and i have observed that their way of hiring people is very different from the other companies and so that's that's the uh, co corporate perspective the second perspective is the advantage what i have is i am also a college I, I used to go to colleges as a guest lecturer before i don't get time now but then early, earlier i used to go there and i have seen how college works how student uh, learn how teacher other teachers teach so i have observed everything there i have observed everything in the corporate world i can actually relate what is happening in the college life and in the in the corporate life so what i so my my aim is to make sure that everyone is at least employable or at least they, they need to get a job right and of course everyone will get a job the only thing is will you get a job which you want now how to get a job there are two ways of getting a good job now First of all, when you when you talk about companies, they want people who are good at programming, or who are good at technology, not, not programming exactly. Uh, there are different fields, right? We have testing field, we have a tech support field. So they want people who are good with analytical skills, who are good with problem solving skills. In fact, I have made a video on that, right? So if you if you can check when I have a video which is five skills required to be uh, to get into IT world. So I have that video. So they will check for all those skills. Now the thing is. If you talk about your college, your college will give you only 40% of knowledge, max to max, they will give you 40% of knowledge. And this company people, they want experts, okay, okay. Now you must have seen this, right? Uh, as a fresher, they want freshers, but they also want experience. And that, that's a very, very big confusion, right? Company always wants experienced people. If you go to job listing, if you go to Nokia.com, if you go to any job portal, they will ask you for experienced people. They will say, hey, we have a vacancy for Java developer. Uh, you need at least three to four years of experience and that's where problem starts you know you don't have experience of course you're a fresher right so if you don't get a job how will you get the experience and if you don't have uh, okay I mean if, if you want experience you want a job first right company want people who can work on a project but unfortunately when you go to college you go to college so that you will learn and you will get a job the problem is company want people who knows at least 80% of the things which they want to work on Again, company is ready to train you, but they can train you only when you know something, right? Example, it is my job to train people on Java. It is my job to train people on different technologies, or maybe different frameworks in Java. Provided you know C and C++, provided you, you know programming. We don't teach, okay, when you join a company, we will not teach you Java if you don't know any programming language, right? It will be like, uh, you, you have to learn Java in seven days, you will die, you will suffer, right? So you need to have those basics. Now, if you're thinking college will give you everything, uh, that's not possible. It doesn't matter which field you're talking about. Maybe you're talking about medical field, if you're talking about uh, law field, maybe you're talking about IT field, everywhere. Uh, when, you, when you go to your college and even if you're a topper, you get a knowledge of only of 40%, right? So if you talk about that 40% thing, if you, if, you only, if you only learn 40%, how will you get a job? Then you have to also cover, so at least you need to be at 80%, right? So you have to learn that 40% by yourself. Now there are two ways of doing that. The first one is as a freelancer, work as a freelancer. Because see, uh, if, you're joining a, in, if you're joining a web, or if you're joining an IT world, and of course you have to work on projects, right? It doesn't matter which project I'm talking about, you have to work on a project. You need to get a real-time experience. Because if you don't know how to build a project or how to support a project, how can you go to a company and work on a project, right? So first of all, you need that real-time experience. So for that, you have to, you, you can go for freelancing projects. Again, freelancing project you can also earn. But then earning, earning should not be the main motto here. The main motto should be you want to work on a project. You have to, you want to learn different things. Because I believe in this, in this uh, what you say, uh, uh, a line which, is, which says uh, initially you have to work to learn. And later you can remove that L which is earn, right? So initially you should only focus on learning. Now question arises, how will you get freelancing projects? Because uh, 
first of all you have to understand what you want to build if you want to build something build that otherwise talk to your friends talk to your parents if they want to build something build that or you can go to NGOs uh, different NGOs church medical I mean all these places and ask them do you want a project if no if nowhere you are getting the project the best way is so just go to Google and search for freelancing okay let's go to freelancer.com now this is a place where you can where you can get the project you can see that we have website and IT so depend upon what skills you have if you know C++ if you know Java beforehand or if you know PHP just search for the project here right uh, example if you let's say if you know Drupal so just go to Drupal and based on Drupal there will be some project you have to work on okay so there are different projects available you can uh, just go here and you will get to you will get the requirements and you can apply for this again you have to bid for this uh, again you will not get a job uh, you will not get the uh, you will not get the project as soon as possible you it will take some it will take some time right you have to you have to improve uh, your programming skills you have to improve your portfolio for that that's one way okay so this is one of the website the another website is upwork which you can go to upwork.com and here you will get lots of skills uh, let's say if you want to go for web development project just go here and you can be, build a web, web project there right so there are multiple websites where you can be a freelancer and these are top freelancers available in this field you can see we have uh, there are lots of people there okay so this is two websites freelancer and upwork which which I know there are other websites as well okay so this the first way is to work as a freelancer at least when you're doing your graduation the second way is to do internship I mean this is what this is the most important thing okay uh, better than freelancing I would say uh, make sure that while you're doing your graduation or your uh, while you're, uh, while you're doing your degree you have to get the internship and now uh, if you have seen if you have heard the news that it uh, so if, if you don't have an internship there's no degree uh, at least in India now so if you want to uh, if you want to computer engineering you have to make sure that you get at least three internship awesome right now two advantages the first one is uh, while making this compulsory it will help students because they will work on real projects the second advantage is company will get people a fresh talent you know company always look for fresh talents and for sure now company will get good talents right so this is the news which came into uh, two days back or la yeah it came on 26 July to this 28th uh, so three internship to be mandatory for engineering uh, students okay this is minimum okay you can go for five internship you can go for ten internship if you have time of course for every student there will be three uh, three internship in their four years of degree now of course after first year you cannot be getting to internship but I'm talking about the second year so when you're going to a second year uh, you have to make sure that you get you go, you get uh, internship thing now again your college will help you now because your it is compulsory for your college to help you with the internship let's say if your college is not able to provide you with the good internship opportunity what you will do now so what you have to do is you have to uh, search the internship by yourself now you will think okay from where you will get it now first of all try uh, contact your, your seniors you know that's the best way uh, talk to your seniors check where they are working now and ask them do we have any internship available there that's the best way the second way is if you're not able to find that then go to a website which is called as uh, at least in India I don't, I'm not about I'm not sure about the US scenario but if you even if you search for internship uh, for programmers or maybe any 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 internship which you want uh, there should be different websites here yeah, we have LinkedIn oh how, how can I forgot LinkedIn we have LinkedIn right then we have Glassdoor uh, this is specific to India I guess uh, there's one more website which so internshala is one of the website where you can get the internship uh, specifically for Indians uh, you can search for your country which whichever inter, whichever website you, you there is available in fact uh, in last two years whenever I get whenever I got some time from from the uh, from the training I made sure that I will hire some interns and I will I will make them to work on a project so uh, I did the last last year I did this this year I mean I did I did last year and this year as well uh, maybe next I mean next year as well I will try to do that uh, so this is how you will get a job so once you do a freelancing project once you do that internship you will make sure that you are completing 40% from your college and 40% while doing this thing and for sure once you do this you will get a job your dream job okay trust me uh, I have seen lots of talented people uh, 
they have done the same thing. They got a job in a good company, but they were not just sitting there in your college and then saying, hey, I got 80 out of 80 out in Java. That's not how it works. It doesn't matter how much you score. What matters is, are you building a real-time projects? Right, that's important. So, so think about it. That's how you get a job. Uh, so do freelancing and do internship while you're doing your degree. And that's it. Uh, that's about uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just click on the like button there or thumbs up. And do subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. Share with your friends as well. Thank you so much for watching.